Hello guys, uh, this will be a, no, this will be a very short tutorial on how to add injected items or just any additional items to the sandbox, the forge palette, basically. And it's also going to be uh, a tutorial on how to add strings for the UI as well as the forge palette so you can actually see so it actually pops up properly. So I've got Master Chief Collection ready, my Forge World site that's ready to load up once the map's modded properly. I've also got a pre-modified version of Forge World with our power can pre-injected. So we're going to load up the map first. Well, actually no, do strings first. So we've got in assembly we've got our header we've got our tabs, we've got our strings and we've got our scraps. We're going to go to strings right now. And obviously we're going to choose English because I speak English. And we're going to look for four strings. Like this. As you can see here, you've got our different object types and such. Our four strings. Plasma cannon, plasma cannon, falcon, falcon, blah 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 blah. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new one. And we're going to call it Hurricane Forge. Right, and we're string that one there is in the values that we powered in, because that's what we're going to be making. Right, so the string ID is powered in Forge, and the value is powered in. We're going to press save all, continue. Uh, what we're also going to do is for the powered in, we're going to create a an enter string for the power in, so when you go to enter the power in, it's not blank, it actually says hold whatever button to enter or to pilot power, the power in. Right? And for that we're going to go into UI HUD, HUD messages and we're going to also then add new and just power in driver enter. It's not going to be the string ID and the value will be hold arrow on the slash button action generic or slash and arrow to pilot pattern for the value. Right? Once again we're going to save all and continue. So now we're going to go back to the tabs and the first thing we'll do is we're going to go to the power and, and add to that string. So we're going to set for seats. Just set as quarter. This is the seats, this is the seat spot here, we're going to go down and enter seat string. And the string we used was power pin. So enter driver. Driver enter, that's what it was. Driver enter, right? And save. So that's that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add the power turn to the the forge palette for us. So we're going to our SCNR scenario tabs. We're going to put in search sandbox. Press next, and this brings us to the sandbox palette. It's just a quick explanation on on the palette is. This block here we've got each individual part, so we've got our weapons human, weapons covenant, our armor abilities, vehicles, spawn and so on and so forth. We've also got our entries which is for individual entries in that. So if we're going to vehicles, obviously our entries we've got our banshees, our falcon, our ghost, oops. Mongoose, and if we don't have it, it's Sun, we've got our Warhards. Then we've got our entry variants. Now, for a item that's only got one variant, like the Shade or the Falcon, currently, or Banshee or whatever, there's only going to be one variant. If you've got something that's got more variants, which currently I believe the only thing that does is the Warhards, as you can see, it's got more than one variant. We've got our Default, our Gross, and our Rocket. 
We've also got our entry price, so it tells us exactly how much then how much it costs basically. So to add in the power in, what we're going to do, we're going to press entries, we're going to press this little plus to create a new entry. We've got our old entry count, we're going to put a plus to 10, we're going to reallocate. This adds in a new entry block for us to add in our power in. So as you can see, it goes from 0 to 9, which is 10, and it's a blank one there. So name will be Paladin. And we're going to, uh, in the variance, we're going to do the same. We're going to add in a block. Okay. And then we're going to entry variance, and then Paladin Forge. We're going to go to our vehicle tab. Tag, sorry. And we're obviously going to Paladin. We don't need to put anything in object variant because obviously there is no specific multiplayer variant because it's not actually normally in multiplayer. So that's us done that. We're going to press save. Now we're going to go into the map to see if what we've done worked and if I've done this right, it should be. Here, power turn, as you can see. Got our power turn there. Right, fairly forgeable, as well as Antara Paw apparently. And like I say, it's in the forge menu as the power turn. And then if we come up, if I forgot to take an invalid off. Uh, up here. That's the one I forgot to untick. Put it and then, as you can see, we now have the prompt to pilot the Peloton. So that's just a very short tutorial on how to add items to the sandbox pallet and also to add a new string for a vehicle that might not have one for when it comes to enter said vehicle. Uh, if you liked the video, if you liked this video, if you liked this tutorial, please give a like. Subscribe if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or the Reddit post on that I will never to make. But yeah, hope you enjoyed.